all right welcome back dear viewers today i got a quick very quick video for you um deep dive into the layer of the brain eaters a module from lamentations of the flame princess uh someone from my discord server wanted to run a one shot and uh so we did this on monday night just a few days ago so um we had a lot of fun and i wanted to talk about it but before we get into that this is what i do i play games i card myself playing those games and then i talk about them got nothing against the flip through review but uh, sometimes i find that uh, they don't give you much in terms of whether or not this is something worth uh, picking up uh, and this hobby can get expensive and i want to make sure you're putting your hard-earned cash in the right uh, in the right direction so to speak um uh, so yeah, let's get into this. Uh, Layer of the Brain Eaters. There we go. So, uh, D.M. Ritzland is the author, and uh, my understanding is he's a sword and sor sorcery author. Uh, he's published quite a few short stories and books, um, and this is his first foray into uh, writing for game companies. Um, excellent choice, working for Lamentations, uh, and this is a really... Uh, cool module. You can get the physical copy at the uh, web store for 27 and a half euros and then um, the PDF at drive through for $7.99. Uh, definitely worth picking up. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it later. But uh, So what is this? So it's, it's an adventure module uh, that was based on a short story of the same name. You can find it in his collection of short stories called Necromancy and Nils Tyria. Hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> uh, but basically, the setup is there's a necromancer that has uh, a cult of sorts, and these thralls that are living beneath uh, a cemetery uh, in this like underground cavernous lair. Um, pretty standard setup in terms of how adventure modules go. Uh, graves are being robbed. The people of the town start noticing, and they'd like the players to figure it out what's going on and to stop it um first thing the players have to do is find the lair which is going to take some planning and creativity i think it took us about an hour to figure out where to go uh there's like rumor charts and stuff some of it's helpful some of it's not you know uh but once they've once the players find the lair, then they go down into it, and there's a lot to do down there. When we played, we kind of bypassed quite a few, uh, quite a bit of it, um, partly because we figured out a way to find the necromancer relatively quickly uh, and avoid a lot of unnecessary combat, which was nice. But um, but yeah, there's a lot to explore down there. You've got the necromancers uh, Ab Nireb and his followers are roaming the cavern there's a damsel down there she's a featured on the cover here that needs some rescuing as uh, so there's a few deadly traps one of which my character triggered <laughs> almost killed us and then uh some cool artifacts uh, of sort that the players can play with and by artifacts i'm talking brains we did not do that we missed it unfortunately i would have i think i probably would have eaten a brain uh, but we'll get into that in a second here so uh here's some art from the book um which is great art by the way um so the yoinog are these followers of the necromancer uh they're created by a spell which you can get access to your players will get access to these spells that are in this uh module but it they eat these brains and then they devolve into something that's like really stupid like their intelligence and wisdom are dropped like between three and six uh, they're very aggressive, but they can be tricked. Um, they're one-hit die creatures. Um, they're not very tough except in numbers, as you would expect. Um, the other creatures in this uh, module are just some skeletons uh, and you know animated skeletons and some mutant rats. Some of them which can breathe fire, uh, but not much else in terms of you know creatures. Uh, the real, I guess. The real part about this book is not necessarily the creatures, but some of the weirdness uh, of this um, of this guy, and that's kind of like the fun part is that there's this other spell called Enchant Organ, um, and basically you rather than using the uh, rules for creating a 
potion from the Lamentations book, which is a liquid thing, right? You cast this spell, and instead of making a potion, you, you imbue an organ with whatever potion you were trying to make. Um, and in the here, when you go to, if you find the lab, there's a bunch of brains that have spells like spider climb imbued in them, uh, invisibility, things like that. And uh, each brain is worth four doses. So you have to eat like the brain and, and, and then there's this chart that you roll on, um, if you, uh, which could like lead to all kinds of bad things like just getting sick to uh, maybe the spell becomes permanent, that kind of thing. But it's really fun, and the fact is it's an actual spell. So it's part of, you know, if you introduce this game, uh, this module into your game world, those spells are in your game world now. So your your magic users can uh, have some kind of gross, <laughs> gross spell options for them. Uh, I like that. I really like that. Um, it's the kind of fun thing that you can do uh, and interact with with your game world. But, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, but that's it. I mean, it's it's a standard, a pretty standard um, uh, module. So, should you pick this up? I think so. I think so because this is more than just a, your typical Lamentations module. I mean, I would compare this to something like Fecal Lands, right? That's the one everyone likes to joke about. Um, Fecal Lands is pure Lamentations all the way. This this can be dropped into your BX game. This really does feel like a sword and sorcery tale. So I got to give credit to uh, uh, DM Ritzlin here. This is a, this is a cool module, and it's not just for Lamentations. It's published through Lamentations, but it's it can be used anywhere. Uh, Labyrinth Lord, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, whatever campaign. If it's uh, you know one of the clones or original game, this would fit um, and not break whatever. Um, I guess themes uh, that your world is uh, is playing with, you know. Whereas, you know, something that's a little bit more lamentationsy probably won't fit because of its extreme weirdness. This this is very much a sword and sorcery game, uh, adventure, and and it can fit. Um, I love that Abnireb is a very unique take on the necromancer as well. I mean, um, typically when we think of necromancer, what do we think? Dude with undead. An army of undead or something right maybe he's undead uh this is very different this is just some nasty dude living in a cave enchanting organs and creating like an army of thralls i love it like it's just so unique um and i'm also a sucker for a good villain and abnireb is a good villain um, especially when you take a look uh, there's a little blurb at the back called the aftermath um, if your players are killed, right, not the players, excuse me, the characters are killed, or maybe they just bypass the problem, like they could care less what's happening in the town, um, Abnireb eventually um, improves his thrall spell, and instead of creating these devolved Yoinogs, they are going to be like normal people that are now in his thrall, and he'll try to take over the kingdom. So, and like I mentioned, you got two new spells to introduce to your game to your campaign world and they're gross and fun and i like that i like spells that are gross and fun i just did a video on why i think da magic should be could be dangerous and and scary uh and these spells totally fit the bill and then um you know if you're a collector of lamentation stuff and i hope you are because um lamentations books are high quality i mean even if you're not gonna use them regularly um they're just fun to read I mean, this is a really nice book, so I would pick it up. Pick up the book, um, um, and if you're not certain, uh, pick up the PDF. It's only eight bucks, um, and you'll be able to, like I said, reuse this in like a Lamentations campaign, a uh, BX campaign. You could throw it in Mistara. You totally could throw it in Mistara. Um, you could totally throw it in um, uh, Forgotten Realms or Greyhawk. Maybe not Dragonlance you know but but i think you get my what i'm trying to say so anyway that's all i have for you today folks uh thank you for watching please hit like and subscribe bell icon yada 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 and i will catch you later take care